girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So if you're into that, subscribe to this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share some of the pros and the cons of my Fendi First bag. You guys know I bought this bag back in April. I wanted to share some of my pros and some of my cons of the bag. The bag is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the pros of the bag. It's amazing. The color is amazing. The style of the bag is amazing. I love the fact that, well, this side doesn't show the actual F, but this side does. I love the fact that it has this F. It's very subtle. It's not over the top. The thing I love about the bag is the strap. If you are a tall girl and you want to get the smaller version of this bag, you can. However, I tried on both of them and the other one wasn't bad because the string was long but the strap is much more narrow than this one I prefer the thicker strap it's just better looking to me um, you can take it off you can just wear this as a clutch now some girls were saying that they do not want to wear such a big bag as a clutch but I'm six feet <laughs> so I don't mind having something big like this under my arm um, some of the smaller bags I feel I don't feel comfortable with them because my hands are actually big as well so that is another pro of the bag that the strap is big now let's get into the size of the bag at the bottom because this is the medium version there's a is this a medium version this is the medium is this the medium I think so. I don't remember, guys. There's a small, there's a larger version than this. Mm, there's a smaller version than this. And this, is there a mini? I think there's a mini. The bottom part is what I love as well. Now, if you have a lot of stuff, I would not recommend putting in putting it in this bag. Even though it's not a structure bag, it still has a little bit of structure to it. But I'll get into the con about the top of the bag and why I don't recommend putting a ton of stuff in here. Um, I, the color is absolutely beautiful. The reason why I like this color is because it goes with so much of my wardrobe. I will say this. The reason why I didn't get black is because in the store, the guy was saying that um, it scratches up kind of fast. He really wanted me to just get a bag, to be honest. But I literally saw with my own eyes when he tried to open the bag, how he caused a scratch on the bag. So I'll get into the con about that part. But other than that, it's a beautiful bag. If you can get your hands on one, even if it's on a pre-love market, because a lot of the girls have the bag, had the bag, and they had it in great, great condition, get the bag. If you want the smaller bag, which I still like for like going out to like small things, but your girl wanted the strap, so that's what she got. And she wore it <laughs> with the strap. She was wearing it with the strap. I don't think I wore it as a clutch just yet, but I did clutch it under my arms, if that makes sense. So I still had the strap but I clutched it under my arm but those are the pros I don't have any issues with the gold on it it's only been a couple of uh, three months so gold color has not tarnished or anything like that and I do not expect it to really really nice nice bag okay and again the strap is like really thick and it's nice it's a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's different. One thing I like about the Fendi First is that it's different. I haven't seen many bags like this. They do have the version where the Fs are all over it, which is still kind of nice. But I don't know if I want that one or the Dior Saddle. I'm not a big fan of the logos everywhere. Smaller bags, possibly. Maybe like a clutch, but I don't know. But those are some, those are some pros. I'm going to jump into the cons really quick and it's this it's this little freaking thing right here to open it the struggle is real so what I had to do was I had to literally put the bag under my arm press on it and then like stick my finger in to open it it should just pop right open to be quite honest with you but it doesn't do that um it doesn't do that so if you have like issues if you have long nails it may be an issue but you can press on it and plop your finger in it to pop it open hopefully they'll kind of fix that once you click on it it should at least unsnap and then open it up to where you can open the bag the other con is that if you notice it's not that big of an opening 
I have large hands, so I have to like press my hand in to like get it inside, which leads me to the space. The space is there, it's just getting it into this part right here. So if you have, a, I don't even have my wallet over here. If you have a large wallet, it can go in easily, but like a long wallet, you can still get it in, but you're gonna like struggle to get it in, in my opinion, because this side is doesn't open up as wide, which is the, the smaller part of the F. If you like the video so far, make sure you are hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Um, still, like I said, still a really, really nice bag. Um, that's my major con of this bag is this little thing right here. Some girls were complaining about this. I didn't have an issue with this little snap piece here because once you take this off, you could actually just stick the hook inside the bag. So that's perfect. It doesn't hang out. So that's a pro for me. Um, but the two cons for me is going to be this snap this button here and then the spacing to get your hand in again if you do not have large hands you will not have any issues let me just show you guys the bag okay the other con is i mentioned before that it scratches easily i don't have any scratches on mine but when the guy like i said when he opened the bag with this, he immediately scratched the bag in the store. So, <sighs> I'm not saying to treat your bag like, I don't know, like you have to wear your bag, right? So it's like, it's gonna get scratched up, but they, if they would fix this part, you wouldn't have any scratches here, in my opinion. I'm just keeping the bag up so you guys can see. The other thing is, like I said, the, the, the cons, the cons are not that bad, but they can be bad for some, especially if you wear really, really long nails. This may not be the bag for you, especially with this top piece, but will I buy this bag if I could in another color? I would. It's my speed of bag. It's not too over the top. It's classic. I can wear it all the time. And it fits my wardrobe aesthetic and it fits my personal style. Those are some pros and cons about the bag. If you're still looking to get the bag, like I said, check the pre-love market. There's a ton on there. Just check the scratching of the bag because it does scratch easily. So if you're gonna buy something from the pre-love market, definitely look at the pictures, see where the imperfections are. If they're very minute, then get the bag. If you wanna go brand new, then go brand new. But I do want the bag in black, I do. They had a pretty colorful one. That was nice, so that would be really nice to have to wear with like other things in my closet, but those are my pros and my cons of the Fendi First bag. And this is a three month review. Very short video. I didn't have the bag for a long time, but I did wear the bag quite a few times. And those are the things that kind of annoyed me most is this here. Like having to go like this and pop the bag open. Because if you, even if you press on it like this, it's, it's not opening. Like it's not opening. You still have to force the bag open. So I just kind of pushed it under my arm and I'm sure people were like, what is she doing? I pushed it under my arm and then I just popped it and then I held it open like that. So yeah, those are the cons <laughs> and those are the pros guys. Let me know what you guys think. Are you into the Fendi First bag? I still like this bag. It's a beautiful bag and I, I would recommend it, I do. For the girls who like subtle things, I would recommend this bag for you. This is the larger version. Um, the medium, if you do not like something so big, definitely go for the smaller version. I did see a girl comment that she recommends if you're tall to get both sizes, just so you can have a mix of things, and I agree. So maybe my next one would be the smaller version and like multiple, like a multicolored one or like a solid color, but still love the bag. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me in this video. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style services, CocoStylesNY.com and my style blog, CocoStylesNYC.com. And I'm on tickety tickety tock, CocoStylesNYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.